Oh, my, God, did GoPro just wake up and actually drop a bombshell on us? Because after what feels like a lifetime of silence, leaks, and rumors that went nowhere, the GoPro Max 2 is finally real, no fancy keynote, no long-winded speech, just one teaser video, a group of skydivers cutting through the air, and a single word on screen, dropping, that's it, no specs, no fluff. And yet, that was enough to send chills down the spine of every action cam enthusiast on the planet. If you've been holding out for the Max to like I have, you know, this moment hits different. Let's dive in because that teaser may have been short, but it spoke volumes. First off, the camera, it's definitely not the original Max. Visually, this thing screams evolution. The new Max to looks polished, symmetrical, and powerful, like GoPro finally got serious about 360 cameras. Remember how the original Max looked like the camera stuck together with duct tape? Yeah. This isn't that. The lenses are now centered. Finally, that weird, off-balance design is gone. This one looks sleek, balanced, and honestly, kinda badass. Now, the body. Oh man, it looks tough. Like, throw me out of a plane and I'll laugh on the way down tough. It has bold, front-facing cooling vents that aren't just for show. That's right, cooling fins. You know what that usually means, high performance, and here's where it gets juicy. There's a real possibility this thing shoots in 8K, yeah. I said it, maybe even 8K at 60 FPS, that would be a massive jump for 360 content. Imagine the kind of stabilization, clarity, and immersive footage we'd get with that, sign me up. But GoPro's timing here is no coincidence, DJI's Osmo 360 is just around the corner. Insta360 already has the X5, and we're hearing whispers of an X6. The 360 camera wars are heating up, and GoPro clearly wants us to know they're still in the fight. And this teaser, it's their war cry, a subtle one, sure, but powerful. We're not done yet, let's talk hardware rumors. Word on the street is that the Max to could come with dual 1-inch sensors, if that's true. It's a game changer. That means better low-light performance, higher dynamic range. Sharper detail, basically everything the original Max wasn't. It finally puts GoPro in a position to compete with the best in the 360. Space, no more compromise, but hey, GoPro, let's be real for a second, don't screw this up, you've got our attention now. But you need to deliver, please give us a better battery, a hero-style waterproof side door. And for the love of all content creators, include a Evans thread. Mount! No more fiddling with random adapters just to stick it on a tripod, we're done with that. And don't even get me started on the app, the current quick app, it's anything but quick. Editing is clunky, reframing is a chore and it feels like it belongs in 2017. Meanwhile, Insta360's app feels like it was made by filmmakers for filmmakers, AI tracking, smart reframing, buttery transitions. GoPro, your hardware can't carry the team if your software is stuck on the bench dot so yeah. GoPro didn't need to say much, one teaser, one word, and suddenly, the internet is buzzing again. For Max fans, this is more than just a product. Drop, it's a statement, it's GoPro saying, we didn't forget about you, and honestly, that means something, but now the ball's in GoPro's court, all eyes are on them. The teaser was bold, now the product needs to be even bolder. If you're as hyped about the GoPro Max 2 as I am, smash that like button. Subscribe for all the latest updates and hands-on coverage. And let me know in the comments what feature do you want most in the Max 2. And before you go, check out our deep dive into Insta360 X5 versus DJI Osmo 360. Trust me, you'll want to see how the competition stacks up. Click the video on your screen now and I'll see you there.